Stay on into the ring, out of the box. It's time to silence your cell phones. Hold your applause. And shut your mouths. Because it's time to look at Elias from Elite 73. This f***ing figure is pissing me off. Just get rid of it. <laughs> Somebody could have made a better figure for this <laughs> Come on. Even the retro was better than this <laughs> Your accessories suck. Make it worth it. <laughs> they could have done so much better. They could have done so much more. Eh. One of my is out of the way now so right, we don't get demonetized for this damn video. All right, everybody, let's get this over with. Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Vinny, the wrestling figure historian. Welcome back to Into the Ring, Out of the Box. We're taking another look at WWE's Elite Series 73, this time around with another version of Elias. Yeah, they've been coming out with a lot of Eliases lately, which isn't a bad thing necessarily. It's very toyetic. They've made now, I think this is his, I want to say second Elite. Mm. He's, or now, are you, now are you including his entrance great or no? That's what I'm actually trying to remember, whether or not he's had two Elites or if I'm just combining these things together. Because it might be one uh, entrance great and then this. But I feel like there was another Elias that was an Elite. There wa there had to be another yeah. one. Yeah, and he's had a bunch of basics already too. Yeah. So he's been getting around the figure world already, but... I've passed on all of them for various reasons. Mm. This is the one I've actually liked the outfit the most because I feel like it's the most different looking. I still personally think I didn't get it, but the entrance grate was probably the best one. Because that one has the stool, right? Has the stool. Of course, you have... Actually, what song played with his entrance grate? It wasn't really so much of a song. It was more like you hear the guitar twang and him talking. That's, I think, mostly what it was. Which is actually pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, that fits. Compared to a normal theme. And so. that was the final uh, entrance grade ever, I believe, too. Yeah. So, pretty historic for Elias. Kind of say he killed the series. Yeah. Because nobody could top him. Killed the town. He killed the town. Nobody could beat him. So, this Elias, we did some digging around. We, we haven't exactly pinpointed when exactly this figure is from. We have a rough time frame, but don't know if there's a specific match or it moment to represent. definitely the beginning of 2019. It could be either his feud with Baron Corbin or... His feud with Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. I'm going to take a guess it's more based off the feud with Jeff Jarrett. Compare Corbin, Jeff Jarrett. Good point. Corbin, Jeff Jarrett. Wow, tell us how you really feel. Just Jarrett, who gives a crap? Wow, that's right. So as we noted, like we were able to find images of him wearing the shirt and even the scarf, but it's the pants that have been different every time we've looked. So Yeah, but does it really make a difference? It does for us, because that's what we do here. That is a good point. And the mystery goes even deeper, because when you look at this image of him on the side of the box, he's got the pants correct, but the shirt and scarf are different. Yeah, it's... A, and that could be from earlier. Yeah, now we're going to look at the back of the box real quick. You can see this image of him here. I'm pretty sure that's photoshopped. The scarf just looks too perfect where the dots are lined up. That looks like it's a photoshopped image on there. I mean, the scarf matches what the toy is, but if you look at the way the scarf is on the side, it's very symmetrical and doesn't look like he's actually wearing it. Yeah. Just looks like no, they kind no, of no. slapped it on him. <laughs> but you also kind of found a recent discovery, too, with Mattel when it came to their packaging and the images they use, no? Yeah, because we talked about this with the Vince McMahon figure. We looked at not that long ago. That we were trying to figure out where that image was from. And to be honest, that was an attitude error of Vince McMahon. Yeah. So what I learned from actually listening to the major wrestling figure pod, I believe it was, was they talk with Bill McKenna. And basically, WWE sends them reference material, and they're kind of married to that. Mm. So that's what they had to work with. So that's why that photo of Vince was the way it was. They pretty much admitted without admitting they had to Photoshop it to fit what it was from, because that's what they were given. Like I said with the Kairi Sane, that's a bit of a double-edged sword, because now the bad side is you got people like us that are going to nitpick it yep, yep. for review purposes to try to see how accurate they got it. But it's also a good thing, because at least you know Mattel is caring about it, and they want to try their best to... To get the accuracy right. Exactly, yeah. But here's where the mystery gets even more deep. Is that you look at the back here and it says that his accomplishment was 24-7 champion. And Which that is happens, way after yeah. that. That's maybe... SummerSlam-ish around there? Yeah. Well, I mean, definitely after SummerSlam. It's pretty recent events. Pretty recent. Yeah. So that means they basically, you know, these boxes were done much closer to production, obviously. Mm. So they're throwing that factoid in, even though this outfit represents a different timeline entirely. Because this outfit was definitely nothing he wore around that time. Oh, God. This is such a hodgepodge of yeah, really is. different uh, time frames. I don't know. And again, the back here where we normally would have a description giving us more hints about when it's from, it just has a generic Elias introduction, basically. Yeah, it, once again, it's his catchphrase, his quote for every time he is about to do a performance. Yes. Oh, God, it's Vince McMahon all over again right now. <laughs> really is. It ba basically is. So. Yeah. So we've already got Elias in the ring. It's time now to take him out of the box. 
And we're back, and we got Elias out of the package. And Vinny, you look like you're in need of a hug, maybe? After taking this figure out of the package, I'm like, oh my god, what the hell did they do? I kind of like this figure, to be honest, but there are a lot of problems. I feel like you should just take over at this point. Yeah, okay. You like this figure, and I don't blame you because looks-wise, it's a pretty damn good-looking figure. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But when we get to the logistics of this figure, it's like, what the hell? If you notice, I have the guitar standing up. With the hands of Elias... Ha look! <laughs> look! The guitar look how flimsy the guitar is! I can't even... Like... Get this thing to... Stay solid! And I just... <laughs> broke the whole thing now! We had this problem also with the retro figure of him. With the retro figure, but it was, the issue was trying to get it back in. Which wasn't so bad. Like the neck of the guitar in the retro stayed. This one, the, the neck doesn't even want to stay at all. Yeah, it looks really loose there. It is super flimsy. I, I don't know if this is just because of the figure you got. I like the idea of a breakaway, but God. God. Probably a little bit of both, because you know, I know last time we saw this, uh, it wasn't the greatest either. We had a lot of problems with that one too. Like we had to like really get it in the right spot yeah. for it to hold, and even then it wasn't guaranteed it would hold very long. No, it's... You know what, this is where I would say, yeah, you want that breakaway effect, but this is one of those times it's like, no, make it solid. I remember when Jax did their guitars, I don't know if they ever did a breakaway. I know WCW's Toy Biz line had a breakaway guitar at some point, but I don't think Jax did. At least I remember having one that wasn't breakaway. I could be wrong, there could have been one that was. I didn't buy a lot of Jax mm -hmm. Bone Crunchers, but um, yeah, I would have preferred a solid one also. But it's like, again, but, it's a trade-off. What do you want with it, you know? There's a way to do the breakaway. Here's what I will say. The bass, the the actual guitar part, that's fine. Because once you get it in, it's actually staying tight. It's the neck. Does not even yeah. stay in. That's the merda. That's the merda kisser. Do I have to bleep this? If they understand Italian, yes. So I have to use Italian bleeps? Yes. That's a merda. kiss. I could tell why. Because it's not shaved down the plastic. There's your big issue. Oh, yeah. It's not snapping all the way. It's not snapping all the way. So the neck of the guitar is not going to stay. Which, that's causing a major issue right now. Yeah, because you can't really hold it if he's... If no, he in and that's the thing. You want to pose this figure loose, you want him holding the guitar. Oh yeah, it's and, so and you, wobbly. And there. you want him holding the guitar in a way that he could strum it. Yeah, so like, it, it's, whenever I try and squeeze it in, it just pops right back exactly. out. Exactly. And so it will not stay. So already that's because I think with the uh, retro, it did eventually stay, but this one just it won't. would stay. Yeah. It would stay because you were able to use the action for it, but no. Well, on the plus side, you can at least put his spare hands in there and make it the carrying case for the hands. Better I have some sort of use to it. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Uh... So as we mentioned, the Elias outfit, we're not entirely sure when it comes from, but at least it does look pretty good. We'll say it that much about it. It does look good. We did figure that he did wear this shirt during his two feuds with both Baron Corbin and Jeff Jarrett. I like the little wristbands that he has on because that's accurate to what he would do. That is accurate to what he would do and to the scarf and whatnot. The whole motif, it does look nice. It does have nice detail. Got his body, which is basically a John Cena body, just the big buff body. Yeah, so, and even the pants have nice detailing to it. Like with the cuffs, uh, with the bottoms rolled up, the boots. The scarf is nice. It's an easy one that they could just, you could just drape right over him. It's not bad, but now, let's get to the shirt. It looks nice. I will say that, yes. And actually, it's very nice and detailed. But then again, look at the back. The back is plain. If I'm not mistaken, the actual shirt itself had designs on the back. You, you correct us if we're wrong. But I believe the shirt is missing its details on the back. Also, with the way Elias had his shirt, so it was like very, very cut up. So, but obviously, they're not going to get this because it's the rubber one. Because obviously, you cut it up the way it was supposed to be. It may snap. Let's get to the actual shirt itself. The shirt was off, even from out of the package. It does not fit. You kind of see there. What he means is that these little holes here that, that connect it 
are not exactly sealing up the way they should be sealing up. Yeah, and because of that, it's going to look loose. And it does. But you don't want that if you're a loose collector. You want everything nice and snug. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see it's... I had this problem also uh, with the ECW Matt Hardy figure. I bought that one recently, and basically it had the same type of shirt, but bigger on him because his body is smaller. So once I took it off, getting it back on, it wasn't fitting on again. At least yeah. in that figure, it actually was on because he's got a smaller body. This buffer body, I don't really think it can handle this mold. No. And it's like, I want to try to my best to get these stupid freaking pegs in because that's where my OCD is going to kick in. Clearly, yes. Yes, as you could tell how angry I am. It's been 20 minutes it, now, Vinny. You can stop now. No, no, because let me get my damn frustration out. It's like driving me nuts. And eventually what's going to end up happening is I'm going to break these things. This is where I do say these rubber tires and whatnot don't work. They do not work at all. This is where I would say give them a cloth shirt. It would have been so much easier. Your accessories suck. Make it worth it. Elias just wants to be your friend. I'm not walking with you. Walk on your own. But hey, that likeness on him is pretty great though, right? You gotta say that, at least you gotta admit that. I will give him that with his man bun and everything. He's got a nice man bun. I will say one of the things I don't like about it though, again, I mean, if we're gonna yell and scream at this figure, uh, is his beard. And this is something I've had a problem with with all the True Effects sculpts since they've started doing them, is that the beards are always usually really spotty. And I guess they're doing it because it's supposed to be like a little bit more visibility through the beard to see skin kind of, but... In this case in particular, you can see how bad of a paint job it is. It just looks like there's a lot of stuff missing and it was a weak paint job. Like I've seen some bad ones and uh, had I not ordered this online, I would have probably gotten a different one. But, uh, you know, I've, I've skipped over Seth Rollins figures in the past and other figures that have beards because they were as bad as this. Uh, this is just really, really bad paint job on that face. But it sucks because the sculpt is really great. Yeah, that's the thing. When you put the sculpt next to the actual picture. It's very, very close to being one-to-one. -one. But again, even like you said with the paint job, it's like, it's too realistic, for lack of a better term. So Elias also comes with a spare set of hands, but they aren't going to really do much for you because we can't even get that guitar in his hand to begin with. But they're just two more open hands. Which, they're a little bit tighter than the other ones, I guess. That's the difference. Well, let's tighter. see. Can at least the neck go in it? I think these are pr probably better for that. It's weird because these hands are so thick, you know, you think like they'd be able to hold it and I think they're meant for that, but... Yeah, you can't even get the... Like, you're gonna have to force open the hand to get the neck in. <sighs> there was so much potential with this stupid figure. It, it's lost potential. No wonder why he's having a stupid feud with Drake Maverick right now. Thank God I actually stopped watching SmackDown. <laughs> Have fun with that guitar trying to get it back together. Vinny, I can't get the guitar to work. Can you do it for me? Just get rid of it. So that's our look at Elias from WWE Elite Series 73. You know, there was stuff I was looking forward to with this figure. God, and back to the guitar. And he... The guitar actually looks nice. I'm sorry I didn't get to that earlier. Here's the thing. I, the guitar, they actually painted it rather nice. Unlike the retro one, which was just a simple guitar that they've given everybody. Yeah. Because that guitar looked like the ones from before. At least they gave him a distinct guitar this time. That's why I but wanted yet, this one, yeah. But it doesn't work. Although, if you just have it posed like this, you don't see the back and how it doesn't fit. It looks great. Yeah. Yeah, but now I uh, have a lot of trying to hold it. Thank you. Which is not the point! So, that's our look at Elias from Elite Series 73. Vinny hates it. He's gonna cry himself to sleep tonight. Or kill somebody in my sleep, I don't know. Pray for me. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, to be honest, I still don't actually hate it as much as Vinny does. Um, I kind of like it just because it is a different looking Elias than what we're gonna probably get in the future. And he's going to have a lot more figures. I'm surely better than this. And... Yeah, Mattel, I hope you're watching this. Fix these problems, please. Or else Vinny will kill me. <sighs> Shanti. Shanti. Not even Jinder Mahal can help me right now, okay? So that's Elias, Elite Series 73. I'm going to leave before one of us dies. Probably me. I'm Matthew. And I'm Vinny, the wrestling figure historian. It's Elias over here. 
I'm just gonna take him away to make me feel better. Just put him under the ring. And hey, keep him there. yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and call 911 for me. <laughs> 911 can't help you for shit tonight. Well, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>